This is your host, Sumit Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us Maya Kajarovsky, Product Manager at Telescale. Maya, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, we have hosted Telescale earlier, so our audience, I do know a bit about company. But since you are here, and especially from the context uh, of the announcement that we are going to talk about, which is Telescale SSH, Tell you know quickly uh, what is Tail Scale all about, so that folks will be able to relate to the announcement as well. Tail Scale is a way for you to create a mesh network between your devices, uh, to create like a virtual private network, like a VPN, so that all your devices are connected together using end-to-end -end encryption using WireGuard. So that means that you can have your laptop connecting to a server that you have in the cloud at your friend's house, whatever it happens to be, um, and and that connection is encrypted and uses your identity from your from your SSO providers, like your Google identity, your GitHub identity, whatever it happens to be. Excellent. Uh, thanks for talking about the company. Now, why would you talk quickly about yourself? Because your career also spans you know, across. Uh, so, so talk a bit about you know, uh, quickly your background and also as a product manager, what is your job at uh, Tailscale? Sure. I've, uh, I've been at Tailscale for uh, almost a year. Before Tailscale, I was at GitHub working on software supply chain security, and before that, at Google Cloud, working on container security and working on encryption and encryption key management. Been in like, you know, enterprise security for about a decade, a PM for for six or seven years. Um, in terms of what I do at Tailscale, it's uh, so a, a product manager roles changes in lots of different places. I have the the privilege of working with a lot of very talented, very smart engineers and, and colleagues in general. And so uh, a lot of what I work on is, is making sure that, you know, what we get out the door is fits the customer need and is a really refined experience. Um, our, our very smart engineers come up with a lot of the, the functionality um, that, we, that we should be building and, and how to make it even better for the user. Perfect. Now let's talk about uh, daily scale SSH because when we do talk about, you know, SSHing in the system, uh, security does because you know you have to either create your know, keys on local machine. There are so many ways, certification, and all those things. So yeah. what, the reason I want to ask is, and also I want to relate to your previous experience is, uh, we'll find a security angle as well there. So so let's talk about you know what is Telescale SSH and how it's uh, different you know from either traditional SSH or how it's different when you deploy SSH in a mesh network. Telescale SSH allows you to have SSH connections that are that are done over Telescale. So instead of using SSH keys, which you then have to distribute to every host or certificates, um, or using a bastion, which you then have to install in every location that you're gonna try to SSH from, uh, Tailscale SSH uses the fact that you have a mesh network and uses the fact that your devices are already on, on Tailscale and lets you manage the authentication um, of your SSH connection based on your Tailscale identity, based on your SSO. Um, encrypts the connection, both using SSH and using WireGuard, which is part of Tailscale and authorizes the connection based on your access controls in Tailscale. So you can control exactly who has access to what in your network uh, based on a configuration file in code. You can revoke access when somebody leaves or changes teams or whatever it happens to be. Uh, and you know that that connection is end-to-end -end encrypted and, and secured. And is it uh, uh, the interface is CLI based or GUI as well? So to set up Tailscale SSH, you need to um, opt in a device and that's through the CLI. And then once you've opted in a device to Tailscale SSH so as a destination for your SSH connection, you need to also make sure there's an ACL that allows like an access control that allows the user to connect to that device. Um, you can modify that through the UI uh, on the web or um, through the uh, API. I'll say that again. You can modify that through the UI on the web or through the API. And um, once you have both the device opted in and an ACL that permits access, uh, then the user can just connect directly. So they can just use their normal terminal, their normal SSH client, whatever they prefer to use to then connect directly to that device. So how different is it, you know, when I, it, it, it is respective of whether I'm a Windows, PowerShell, Mac OS or, or Linux, and I, I fire up a terminal or, you know, I can you know, log in through my SSH, how different is the experience for a, a, a user? Uh, that's actually kind of the magic is it isn't. So once you set it up, there's, there's nothing that's different for the user. They can use their normal SSH client. They can use the, the scripts and things that they all, they all always had um, as part of that SSH connection. The setup is different and the experience for the admin is different. Um, you don't have to generate a key pair. You don't have to figure out how to store your private key somewhere secure. You don't have to figure out how to get your private key onto your iPad if you're trying to code from your iPad. Um, that part is gone, but the actual kind of core SSH experience is unchanged. I also want to talk quickly about the 
admin part as well. Uh, how do they manage, you know, of course, access, you know, to authenticate the user also when people move out or they want to revoke access? How does the whole process work? How much control visibility they get into who has access to what? When you define that your apples that you have in TailScale, you can define which source, like which user has access to which destination, like which device or, or um, tag or whatever it happens to be in your network, which IP range in your network. Based on that access control, uh, TailScale will allow or not allow the connection. This is done by, by pushing the ACL to each device individually and then having the device enforce access locally on that device to any incoming traffic. So TailScale SSH works very similarly. You can define centrally what, um, what users or what sources can connect to what destinations in, in your network and push those, push those configurations down to the devices and then have those enforced locally. Uh, and that, that's pushed almost instantaneously. So if I wanted to change teams or remove your access or whatever, whatever happens to be, then I can just update the ACLs and it'll automatically get pushed to the device you know, within a matter of seconds. And you would no longer have access to, to SSH to that device anymore. Excellent. Uh, thanks for explaining that. Now, I also want to uh, uh, talk a bit about what is the driver or motivation behind this. First of all, if you just look at this, you know, there are so many problems that developers, you know, some. Some problems we are so used to it we accept them as the you know the trade of the trade you know uh, so we have to make those trade offs but what is specific you're like you know we need to bring you know till uh, till scale ssh because this is uh, addressing this specific pain point which we think is important yeah i mean i think part of the the motivation is just internally coming from our own ability and our own frustration with having to manage ssh keys uh, and realizing that you know when somebody leaves the company or things like that you have to go touch every device to remove it um, it's not practical, and it doesn't it doesn't scale very well. Um, some of the other motivation comes from our user base, right? We looked at our user base and saw that a large amount of our connections are SSH connections, and figured, how can we make that even better? How can we make that experience of SSH into another device even better because you're using TailScale? And then a third motivation, also I'm sure there's more than just three, is uh, that if you look at what TailScale does really well for WireGuard. Um, so WireGuard is the the underlying encryption and, and, and network protocol that TailScale uses. It's it's about tying WireGuard to your user identity and managing WireGuard configurations. And um, WireGuard thinks about your identity in terms of your uh, your public key instead of say a public IP address, right? That's really similar to how SSH thinks about your identity. SSH thinks about your identity in terms of a you know a public key. And so we figured if we can do this kind of solution for WireGuard for network connections. The same model, the same idea applies to, to SSH in terms of managing your public keys, giving you access to certain things, making you, letting you make that connection, et cetera. It just, it just the model translates really well from, from WireGuard to SSH. Now, uh, let's quickly talk about how folks can access it. Is it available for trial or demo, or free, or they have to pay for it? Tailscale SSH is available in beta for everyone. Uh, it's available for free or included in all plans, including our free plan. Uh, Tailscale SSH ACLs count as part of the um, unique users and ACLs that are limited in some of our paid plans. Maya, thank you so much for uh, taking time out today and talk about not only SSH, uh, Tailscale SSH, but also in general, you know, the pain points some developer face. I mean, you said, you know, you're scratching your own itch and you realize that it's helpful for everybody else. And that's a typical, you know, a tech story that we hear every day. Uh, thanks for sharing all those, you know, insights. And I would love to have you back on the show. Maybe we can do a demo also in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. And would love to do a demo. Hi, I'm Maya from Tailscale, here to talk about Tailscale SSH. Tailscale SSH allows you to establish SSH connections between devices as authorized by access controls and authenticates and encrypts your SSH connection using WireGuard. To enable Tailscale SSH, you need to opt in the destination device to Tailscale SSH and ensure ACLs exist, which allow Tailscale SSH access. Your ACLs need two components a regular access rule that allows a user to access the device on port 22, and an SSH access rule that allows the user to use Tailscale SSH to access the device. You can also specify check rules to require users to re-authenticate before establishing high-risk connections. The default ACLs in Tailscale allow users to SSH to their own devices using check mode. All right, on my server, I can advertise Tailscale SSH by running Tailscale up SSH. When you enable Tailscale SSH on a device, Tailscale claims port 22 for any traffic incoming to that device to its Tailscale IP address, and the traffic is routed to an SSH server run by Tailscale 
in the step-degree standard SSH server. You can see it popped up in the admin panel. Then to connect, I can just SSH directly to the device. Since I have check mode enabled on this device, I'll need to re-authenticate. And that's it. I'm in. By using Tailscale SSH, you no longer need to generate, distribute, and manage SSH keys or run a bastion. Check out tailscale.com to get started.